Hey guys, welcome back to the Bruce Williams channel. In this video, I'd like to do just a casual little uh, stroll around my office. I wanna show you guys my setup and talk about a, a couple recent additions that I have that aren't necessarily watches, but I think you guys would appreciate and I think make pretty good gifts this holiday season. So let me kind of put on the macro lens here. You guys can get a better look of what's going on in this space. I will turn the camera around and I'm sitting at my desk. This is where I do most of my filming, just about all of my filming. You guys can see uh, my, my channel logo here done in the middle. Uh, I, I paid my wife's cousin, who's a fantastic woodworker, uh, to create this awesome desk. It's, it's really quite large and it is just a joy to work on. On the desk, you guys can see there's a bag from What A Watches. I just completed doing a couple videos on a couple watches that they sent. Uh, we have my winder here, this gyroscopic winder with the Seiko U uh, Recraft UFO inside. You guys can see I'm a Random Rob fan. There's my Random Rob mug. I've got a ball UV light for doing uh, loom shots and stuff. Back here is the Great Wave off of Kanagawa and I'd love to get more awesome art and fill out this space. On the screen, you guys can see my Discord server. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I try to be active every day here and interact with you guys. On this monitor, you guys can see the channel, and I wanna point out I'm sitting at 86,500 subscribers, which is amazing. So guys, thank you very much. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Uh, let's move around the room here. There's my microphone. Um, some of my art. I, I know this artist, this Western artist, so he sent me uh, this um, smaller uh, print of one of his, his custom pieces. This is one of my favorite films. It's an old Western with James Stewart and John Wayne. And every time I try to show this black and white film to my wife, she falls asleep. So <laughs> I'm curious. Are any of you guys fans of this film? It's, it's an awesome film. Coming back here to the other side of the room, let me show you what's going on. We'll start actually down here. Uh, I've just got some random books here, watch-related books. I've got a watch box, a custom watch box. And then you guys can see my vintage Hardy Boy collection displayed on two different shelves with a couple watch-related swag items. Moving up, this is where it gets really cool. I've got a Seiko Quartz desk clock. This one came from the 90s and uh, I just really enjoy it. Down here is a Cartier uh, porcelain trinket tray that was gifted to me by a good friend of mine who absolutely loves Cartier like I do. Here is a JLC Reverso book and it's a phenomenal, it's a really great book. And that's one thing that I'd like to get more of here in the office is not just, you know, I've got some books down there, but awesome books like this one. I'd would really like to do that. I find myself just, uh, you know, spending time learning about watches that I already know quite a bit about. It's, I don't know, it's just really fun. Here, <laughs> here is a Bigfoot action figure that was randomly gifted to me by my friend Random Rob, awesome guy. And it's next to my LeCoute branded 1950s Atmos clock. Moving up, you guys can see the Pirates of Barracuda Bay Lego set. This is a ship that I wanted so bad as a youth. Came out, or at least the original one came out in the late 1980s. And I could never afford it, but now, you know, uh, for nostalgia's sake, I had to buy the recreation, the slightly larger recreation that Lego did. Moving over here, we've got some art done by my two daughters. I have three daughters, but two of them like doing art, so I will always display proudly my sweet daughter's art. My favorite one, I think, if I had to pick, is is this one. My uh, my oldest depicted us camping by the mountains, and that's my favorite personal activity. Is actually going camping with my family. Let's see. Moving around the room, uh, there's not really anything over here except a massive Ben Hur poster. This is one of the greatest films ever made. One of the last truly great massive epics, and uh, I really like it. But uh, let me show you one more thing. Up here, you guys might have noticed, I have a Swiss Mondaine uh, wall clock. And it's really cool. That's something else that I'd like to fill out. You know, I mentioned I want to get more art. 
I would like to get more uh, literature, watch-related literature, and I'd love to just get some more wall clocks and line the walls. You know, I've got some space. <laughs> uh, I, could, I could really, really could, really could use a, a whole bunch more uh, art and decorations here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this down. I'd like to show it to you up close. So let's do that now. All right, guys. I've taken it down and I just want to kind of showcase it real quick. Uh, you guys can see this is the mundane official Swiss Railways design. It's a little bit different. We don't have black contrast for the indexing, which is a little bit of a shame because unless the watch is, or sorry, the clock is at the right angle, you really can't read the indexing very well. I will say the hands though, uh, the aluminum brushed hands, they're very legible. They, they reflect quite a bit of light. And I love that smooth sweep of the red lollipop style seconds hand. That is really, really cool. I mean, this is inexpensive. This, you know, would cost about the same as a Seiko SKX or similar. And I think that's money well spent, especially if you're getting used to wearing more luxury priced items. I, I think it's fun to, to do things like this for either your man cave, your office, your studio, or give them as gifts to other watch enthusiasts. You know, I think that would be a pretty cool thing. Let me turn it over, show you guys the back. You guys can see we technically have an exhibition movement. You can see it through this plastic window here. Go into town, uh, the smooth sweep, this knob right here is how you adjust the time. And then if you want to hack the movement, you have to take the battery out and it is powered by one AA battery. And of course you can read Official Swiss Railways Clock Design Mondane. All rights, Mondane Watch Limited. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. This is where you hang it up, obviously, on the wall. But I just wanted to showcase this uh, Mondane briefly, as well as some other items in my man cave, in my studio, where I do all the filming. I really appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, interacting with me. Those of you that are on the Discord, that's been a lot of fun this past year. So I just wanted to thank you and wish you a very Merry Christmas. I wish you health and success this coming year. I hope all of your horological dreams and goals will come to fruition. And uh, again, thanks for joining me. Shout out if, if you have actually watched um, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Uh, and if you haven't, if you enjoy good film, I would definitely recommend giving that a shot. Uh, watching it. It's one of my, again, my personal favorites, along with some others. If, if any of you guys are classic watch, no, sorry, not classic watch, <laughs> classic film nuts, uh, I'd have fun chatting with you a little bit. Uh, there's my Discord. If you want to join, there'll be a link in the description. You just have to, you know, support me on Patreon. You have access to the Discord, access to the giveaways. And again, thank you for watching. Let me flip this around. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.